slice of reality to easily comprehensible terms and suggest appropriate ways of dealing with that reality. And he mentions later, okay, that the dominant thought during that time was race and racial superiority. Okay, in Sardinia. And this was in the 18th, uh, towards the close of the century, uh, 19th century that is. This belief gripped the thinking of men who debated and determined that foreign policy by its influence over the press and by its hold on the electorate race, electorate, race powerfully shaped the way the nation dealt with other peoples. And race and racial superiority was perpetuated by school texts kept fresh in cartoons and retailed in political rhetoric. Now, that made me convinced now that I have to look for cartoons. Because in the part, Michael Hunt said that it's perpetuated in cartoons. I tried to look for school texts, and in school texts, they is part of the lesson that America, American school children received before was America is superior, all the other races were inferior. They studied the human brain, uh, craniology and phrenology, something to do with the shape of the head, the, the larger the head, the larger the brain, the larger the brain, the more intelligent. And they believe that Americans have larger brains than, than all the other races in the world. The Filipinos, they, they thought of, of the Filipinos way beyond those things. Because they believed that the people in the Philippines were not human beings. Ano lang tayo? Subspecies. So, kamag-anak ng umboy. We are a subspecies of the human race. In the in evolutionary process, we lag behind. Okay? Are you familiar with with the illustration of evolution, right? From monkey to and so on and so forth, that human being, right? Filipino, subhuman, and there was a belief then that the missing link was in the Philippines. And they do not, they did not consider rather uh, the, the Filipinos of Manila, the intellectuals, Rizal, the Ilustrados, they did not consider them Filipinos. The Filipinos are the ones staying in the mountains. Right? So, like, if you look at the National Geographic, for instance, there's no study on, uh, the very limited study on the Filipinos of Manila. Kasi nga hindi sila Pinoy. And there was an argument presented. Bakit may Rizal? Rizal for the Americans, hindi siya Pinoy. Rizal was Chinese. And because Rizal was Chinese, he was capable of writing a novel. Right? Filipinos cannot do that. Okay. Don't be angry. Now, in popular song, okay, this is a popular song. I presented this before. But if you just look at, uh, maybe we'll try to look at the, the, the first, uh, no, the first stanza only. Down, 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 the Filipinos in that land of dopey dreams, happy, peaceful Philippines, where the bolo man is hiking night and day, where Tagalogs steal and lie, where Americans die. There you hear the soldiers sing this e this evening lay, down, 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 the Filipinos cross-eyed kakiak ladrones. Beneath our starry flag, civilize them with a crab. The crab is the gun that they had before. And of course, the drone is the okay? thieves. Okay? Then, and here, like social customs there are few. All the ladies scoop and chew. The men do things the padres say are wrong. Uh, but the padres cut no eyes for they live on fish and rice. But the diet na ginalo, where you hear the soldiers sing this evening song. Okay, in poetry, that's also reflected. This is a poetry coined by Rudyard Kipling, uh, White Man's Burden, right? We'll just look at the first stanza. Take up the white man's burden, 
Send forth the best you breed. Go bind your sons to exile. Serve. Captives need to wait in heavy harness on flattered folk and wild. You new new pot, your new pot, silent people, half devil, half child. So you, sino ba yung new, new, new pot, solid people? The colonies, right? And we are described as half devil, half child. So, hindi pure demonyo, hindi rin pure tao, magkahalo. It's good to or something, right? Okay, half devil, half child. And, and, and this thought of superiority is reflected also in politics. In the, in, in the congressional arguments on the annexation of the Philippines, Senator Daniel said, we are asked to annex to the United States and which is cauldron. We're not only asked to annex the cauldron and make it a part of our great Anglo-Saxon, etc. But we are asked also to annex the contents and take this new brew. Mixed races, Chinese, Japanese, Malay Negritos, anybody who has come along in 300 years, all of their con concatenations and, and followers. In fact, um, um, the, the line continues now. There are people in the Philippines that would zebra like. Zebra like stripe, a color, black and white. Right? Black and white. You look, you, look like, you look like a zebra. Okay? Then we were considered as a mongrel and barbarous race. If you're familiar with Filipino terms, we, we call our dogs mongrels, right? The mixed breed na aso, we call that ascal, right? So ascal tayo. Mongrel. Okay, heterogeneous compound of inefficient humanity. Sakti. Inefficient humanity. Then we are a vitiated blood of ignorant and debased people. Okay, wh why is it that they were thinking like this? First, Americans believed that they were the new Israel. They are God's new chosen people. Right? And they have the purest Christianity. They believe that uh, the, the, the Catholicism, the Christianity introduced by the Spaniards to the Philippines was corrupt and corrupted more by an already corrupt race because they considered the Spaniards also corrupt. So a corrupt religion brought by a corrupt people to another corrupt group of people. So you have that long no, okay. And now those thoughts. Okay, we're gonna go to the the visual images now. Are carried over to the cartoons. Uh, may display me a time na ko. Don't be shy because the cartoons you will look beautiful. Okay. The first one. Now this is now this is not yet the America uh, about the Filipinos. But I, I want to establish a pattern. In this cartoon, you see an American uh, disciplining a, an Indian. This is about the Indian wars. Okay? Then, it's a race and racialized discourse. Discourses have, uh, or discourse have defined American history since its inception. Okay? And this is how they discipline the, uh, the, the Negro slaves, right? Now, the the, the theme of, of, of whipping was sustained when they started to draw the Filipinos. And that's the next one. You see? That's Otis, Major Otis. Okay. This one is, of course, this is the Filipino. The, ne the, 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 the image of the Negro was used now to represent the Filipino. Okay? Um, and I think the, the, it's not so clear, but that, that, that this quote says, now will you be, now you, will you be good? Okay? Now will you be good? This is because the Filipinos rebelled, right? And the Filipinos outrage against American rule, actually, what well, gets the Philippine-American war, okay? And America's retaliation, 
was actually an act of 